welcome back to my channel. My name is Tia, aka Teacup Simmer, and this is another part of our Cat Tales series. And we are back with the beautiful Dawn Star in the great and very tiny fledgling colony of the Sunrise Colony, you guys. And last time in our last episode, we have found our colony motto, the colony where the sun never sets. And in this colony where the sun never sets, we have a new cat. Mango has joined us, even though we're not going to say their name is Mango for right now, we're going to just pr pretty much act like all of our NPC cats don't exist right now until you guys get pick out the names and the coat colors for all of our cats in our colony and we're going to be doing a raffle so if you guys leave all of those suggestions and all that information down in the comments i'll be picking those out in the next few episodes as soon as we get all of our cats all of the cats together and i'll let you guys know in the episode prior to my raffling it off and doing the randomizer which ones um when when everything's done so it's pretty much once i get once we get all of the marriageable cats and once we get our shopkeeper then that's what we're gonna do. And currently we have eight Mews, so we're at a little bit of a disadvantage. We currently need to work on taking back some of our, taking back, not taking back, ta well, kind of, because Dawn Star took over these areas for the forest colony. Now we're taking them back for the Sunrise colony. And she wants to make sure that she has a nice buffer of territory around her main territory so that all of her cats can be nice and safe and protected. So currently that is our main goal right now to keep the borders protected and to pick up as much money as we can so that we can start letting in some more of those new cats and we can fill up our colony with all the cats that we would want i'm so excited you guys can always tell when i do this series and i'm super pumped but let's get started so currently we're trying to get all the way up to this territory up in the corner um, so that dawn can help her cats protect their borders and kind of take over more territory i do know about the um the new feature where you're able to talk to claudius and um kind of direct where you take over territory and i think once we take over or once we get some more cats in once we get the shopkeeper and the other cats in our colony um, I think it'll be a little bit, I think we'll feel a little bit better about kind of taking over territory like that. Okay, come on Dawn, you're slow right now. She hasn't eaten, she's, she's, she's lost a lot of her stamina, you guys. She's too slow for this. She, she misjudged herself, come on Dawn. Woo, Dawn Star for the win. Oop, and there's a bunny, she could, she could gorge herself on bunnies. Come on, come on Dawn, you earned it. Get the bunny. There we go. So there, there, there we go. Dawn Star. She was a little bit too eager. She left, she left her den way too early. Oop! There's a black bunny. Come on, let's go. Let's back up a little so that it doesn't see us. There we go. Yeah, she left her den a little bit too early. Um, she wasn't really expecting to. Well, she was expecting to go fight. She thought she could do it on her own. She thought she was going to be that good, but she's not as invincible as she would like to think she is. So let's see, we have one more territory to go. Look at that, look what we're doing. We're doing so well. Can we take this one over? No, but we're close. I forgot that it doesn't actually like help as much as we would like it to. So we probably need to take some lavender over here and take over this area, but we're gonna have to work on this one too. And we do need to make sure we keep up our, diplom our diplomacy with the other colonies. I think um, Dawn's probably just, Dawn Star is probably just wanting to get, get all of that territory squared away and then she's gonna be like, it's like, like the idea of it's better to say I'm sorry than to like ask permission. It's better to say I'm sorry than to ask permission type of, type of thought process. She's, she'd rather just take it than wait for them, wait for them to say no, we won't allow you to. Is there a bunny still up here? There is. She can do it. Come on Dawn, get it. There we go. Hi, Ninja. Welcome to the colony. I could go for some rabbit right now. Can we give you food? Is that even a thing? Can we? I could go for some rabbit right now. Okay, so we can't. So we can just put it away. Uh, for a second, I thought we could actually like give them food. That would be such a cool feature. Ooh, we could like give some of the NPCs like make friends. And there, ooh, there should be inter-colony reputation. That should be a thing. Like 
Uh, well, there, it, there is, because technically, like, there is a thing called within your colony reputation, but it should be more like, I feel like it should be a lot like the, the first, oop, let's stop there. But it, I feel like it should be a lot like Warrior Cat's Untold Tales, where your entire colony will like you more or less, depending on what you do, and you should get better perks for certain things. Not necessarily just the full-on quest, but for, like, different little things like people will give you more likely to give you like general gifts or your your hunting parties or your scouting parties or when you try and take over territory will be stronger or more loyal or you'll have more cats with you when you're more liked by your colony i think that would be really cool come on guys you're kind of leaving me hanging out here there we go we can do it sorry george Kinda sorry, not sorry at this point. Get them, everyone! Charge! The sun will never set. Woo! Look at us. Oh, I'm so happy. The sunrise colony is just getting it. Look at that. We're almost we're pretty much almost full on this one. We have to we're working on this one. We'll work on these areas over here, and then we'll take over this area. We're pretty much taking over most of the most of the river area, which is kind of ironic considering that, <laughs> that Dawn doesn't like water, <laughs> which is very ironic now that I think about it. Um, come this way, you little thing. If you come this way, I'll bite you. Don't walk on water. That's just silly. Uh, there it is. Get it. You can get it, Dawn. There we go. Where is the little... Oh, it's over there. <laughs> it's running away from all the NPCs. It's kind of funny. Oh, nope. They ran it out. They ran it outside. Alright, so I think that's... We didn't really get much of a haul today, specifically because we started the day late. But we're just going to return home and see what we can do... Is there any other fighting? No, there's no more fighting. But we did take over a good bit. I'm actually very proud of us for that. So, Dawn, let's put your food away. So hopefully we'll, you'll, you won't go hungry and you'll remember to eat something in the morning. So let's put the bunny away because that's expensive. Let's keep that on you. Let's put that here. Well, let's put these away because those are, those are more expensive. So you can sell those rather than eat those. And so we'll eat her toad. There we go. And I think I want to increase the power of her diplomacy skill. I don't know how to do that though. So how do you do that? Oh, you can upgrade it for 100. So let's upgrade that. So now she's at diplomacy too. So I wonder how much that works. Use this skill in a contested region to gain lots of power for your colony there. Okay, so that's good. So we just upgraded that one. So maybe she'll start to be able to pick up some more things. So let's go to sleep and hopefully we'll be able to pick up some more stuff. Morning dawn! Wiggy wiggy in your bed of fireflies. Okay, so we still have a frog on us, so she should be fine. It is beautiful early morning in the sunrise colony. Good morning, everyone. The sun will never set. The sun will never set. I feel like we need another. We feel like we need a, a colony greeting. We already have a colony slogan. We need a colony greeting. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a nerd. Okay, let me see. Um, let's see. Valerian. I think Dawn's just doing like morning rounds, maybe. Just to kind of stretch her legs a bit, test her hunting a tad before she goes to help out with some of the major skirmishes that are right on our borders. Oh my gosh, where? No, get away from us. Oh no. Come on, Dawn, we have to go protect the borders. This is a travesty. Oop, but there's a there's a dove, so we can pause for a second. Get it. Woo! Okay. And a trout. Oh, we can't get the trout. Oh, gosh. River! River has taken us! Oh my gosh, Dawn! Oh, God. She hates rivers. This is for the right reason! She almost drowned on her own territory. Look at that. Dawn, how could you? Dawn Star! How are, your, how are all of your cats supposed to respect you if you almost drown in the river right next to the colony? There we go, Dawn Star. Get them. Forest colony doesn't know what they're messing with. 
There we go. Hello, Breeze. Good morning. I need to wash my fur. My fur's all matted and gross. Well, I feel like that's a personal issue. I don't know if that's something you needed to share with your leader, but okay, cool. Get the mouse, Dawn. So that's one territory saved. Let's see if we can save the other one. Look at this, Dawn. They're making you work so hard this early in the morning. There we go, Bunny. See, she's doing well today. So come on, Dawn. Take out the forest colony. Even though I feel like she might be a little conflicted about this, considering how much how much she knows all of these cats. She probably like trained a lot of them or went into battle with some of them. She's probably very conflicted. Hello, Captain. Hello, Cashew. Good morning, everyone. Oop, there's a bass. We have to get it because bass are expensive. Ooh, get it. Woo, yay. Dawn Star for the win. There we go. So where else did we want to go? Um, I think this area over here is the next one to fall. Yeah, I think that's what we're going for. But we do want to pick up this golden seal. So come on, Dawnstar. See, you guys can tell. It's taking me a while to get used to calling her Dawnstar because she's she's always been her cute little Dawn to me. She's just a cutie. She's just, we, we've seen her since she was a kitten just grow up and be amazing and now look at her she's just she's running her own colony um with a little slightly poorly I might add considering she almost drowned in a river but we're ignoring that so that she can she can go through the process of trying to help everyone Let's see if she can get this chipmunk there we go I don't think that's chipmunk I think that was a squirrel So this is the forest southeast. It has a river running right through it. I don't know if she'd like that, but it is close to her territory. And it does have some Valerian, so it is of some use. She she particularly likes her plants, she does. But there is a crow. Come on, Dawn. See if you can get it. There we go. We're working on her hunting a little bit. Oh, there's another crow. Let's see if we can get it before it flies off map. I think it might have flown off map already. No! Travesty. So how much is does this one need? Let's see how much our new diplomacy skill works. That did very little. Note to self. Yeah, it did not do as much as I thought it would. That's upsetting. Okay, so we'll probably have to take a bunch of lavender with us next time. <gasps> Look at that! <laughs> the, the, gar the forest guardian must have heard Dawn thinking about trying to take over that territory. I know the forest guardian probably shouldn't be taking sides in colony skirmishes, but I think because Dawn saved the balance the balance of the forest, I feel like she's, she's a little bit of a favorite. Just a, just a little bit of one. But it's okay. It's okay to be the favorite of, like, the, I guess, the god of cats. <laughs> if you, you've saved, if you saved the world. So I feel like she's earned it to be, to, to be the favorite if she saved the world. Just a tad. Oh my goodness, we are right next to the forest colony. Hello. Can we go in or are we still? Yeah, we can go in. Cool. Hello, Doc. Good to see you, Dawnstar. Here to chat for a bit. I've got time for you. Hey partner, I hope you found the forest colony hospitable enough during your visit. I certainly won't mind you being here. I try not to get too wrapped up in all that colony politics stuff anyway. Oh, Doc still likes us. That's so great. I was worried. I thought he wouldn't like us anymore. Hello, Lyris. We didn't really like you much when we were here. Good day to you, my rose. It's peaceful to live outside the walls of the forest colony. I am left undisturbed by the hustle and bustle most days. That's good for me because I like to sleep in every day. Oh, well, look at you. Sarge! Hello, Sarge. He's one of our good friends. Dawnstar, I wish we could hang out a bit, but I must guard the colony. You're not from this colony, so we'll keep a cl we'll be keeping a close eye on you. Why are you keeping a close eye on me? You basically helped train me. This is this is so upsetting. Hey, good to see you. Here to buy or sell something? I only sell the cats that our colony trusts. I've been instructing my mayor to only sell items to cats that the forest colony can trust, and trust has been has to be earned. How the heck do we know if you we've earned it? 
I told Sarge to let you visit our colony because I see a great amount of potential in you. Few cats are awarded this privilege. So they don't... They don't... Ember doesn't remember how much we spent... How much time we spent together. Let me see what our... So let me see what our, like, actual bit with them is. Let's give them a bunny and see what happens. Give the rabbit to the forest colony. This is a good gift. Our colony will be very grateful. Your rotation with the forest colony is 51. There we go. So it knocked us down under 50, I guess. Which is why Ember wouldn't let us buy anything. So maybe visit the shop. Great. What would you like to buy? Let's see. Buy items. Excellent. Take your time and look around. These are bargain prices on items of exceptional quality. All right. So let's see what's in here. Other than the inventory expansion. So we do have a bunch of coat colors. The forest style. A pack of architectural styles for your custom colony. 200 muse for, a, for an actual style. Good goddess. Okay. So if you guys actually wanted to start getting new styles, we could definitely start looking into that. Apparently forest style is held by Ember. And I think, I think our shopkeeper has the temple style. And then I think all of the other colonies have their own particular styles. And then maybe we'll be able to get different styles at like the, what's it, what are they called? The festivals. And then I'm pretty sure the moles probably have different styles. So if we went to like the two different, the two different mines, they'd probably have styles there. The festivals would have styles. All the colonies would have styles. So I guess you guys get the idea. I think that would add up to 12 if I remember correctly. So that would be, see, now I have to do math and I can't do math and th off the top of my head, you guys know me. Don't, don't ask me to do math. Ooh, okay. So we're taking over lots of territory. I'm, I'm, I'm happy about this. Okay, cool. So we're going to head home. She's getting hungry. She only picked up a few things. So maybe we should pick up some more stuff on our way home. Pick up the dove, Dawn, because the dove is more expensive. There we go. We can pick up the mouse for food, though. No, stupid mouse. There's another mouse. Ugh, she's just, she's too slow. She's too hungry. Eat your food. Eat the mice so that you can stop being so sluggish. Oh, she scared it. Never mind. There's Breeze and Gumball. They're still here. Thank you for taking care of this territory, guys. Oh no, rushing rocks. Okay, Dawn, this is going to take some some time. Can you do it? Can you do it? There we go. We're probably going to have to up her swimming skill because she's going to have to go across this river all the time. All right, so it is late. So let's, well, not late, late, but late enough. So let's visit the shop and sell some items to Coco so we can start working on getting up our muse again. So silver 55. Everything here is only 55. Ugh. This is gonna take us forever. Sell items. Awesome. So we're at 100 muse. So currently we have, let's see, we have to pick up another single cat and we have to pick up the shopkeeper. So it's 800 muse all together for everything that we would need to pick up. Oh, sweet goddess. I might end up doing some many, like maybe some time skips for you guys because it might take me a little bit of time to pick up enough, enough like items and food and stuff. But let me, let me know if you guys want to do any of those time skips. Um, like it'll probably just be like a couple days through a season so that we can pick up some more items. So don't, so you guys don't have to watch me grind out on like getting all those items and stuff. But let me know what you guys think. We are going to end up taking over some more territory. So if you guys do want to see that, then we won't do the time skip, but let me know down in the comments. Also, we're probably going to still need some more of those coat colors and names for me, you guys. So always put those down in the comments if you guys want the chance to have any of your cats placed in the colony. All of our cats are up for grabs, apparently, except for Coco. Yeah, except for Coco, all of the cats are up for grabs. So everyone's going to be randomized. But you guys let me know what you guys want those to be. And I think this is where we're going to end this part right up right here, you guys. We're just going to send little Dawn off to bed to rest. And then we're going to start another day of 
trying to protect her new territory and expanding her borders. She is so ready. I'm, I can see her growing very slowly. She's definitely going to have to start upping some of her skills and doing all these other things just so that she can kind of keep her new colony together, which I think is a good, a good thing. Before she was just doing whatever she wanted, now she actually has to focus herself so that she can take care of the cats in her colony, which I think is a good thing for her. She's maturing, which is always good for people to do. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know down in the comments. If you guys have any ideas for this series, please let me know down in the comments as well. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and please subscribe if you really love me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!